I'm going to sign on to my All right, you guys, I just changed the internet because like something, something's weird, <laughs> but it should be fine now. Okay, does anyone want the playlist? Noel, do you want the playlist or do you have it or do you care? Great. Good. So you can put it on like mid first song. All right, let's sit on our shins. Turn the palms up on the thighs. If you're practicing this backyard, there are little spiders. I'm just going to say that. But everything's peaceful. It's like talking to a friend earlier this week. She had a, th a thousand or like thousands of bats living in her house and I thought oh they're living like under the deck or something and apparently bats are like this protected species and you have to like there's all these things you have to do I learned that the bats actually lived inside of her house in like the upstairs rafters and um I was like I just can't with that like they were in the house in the house so it was this reminder of coexisting so that's gonna be our theme we're coexisting with the bugs and people right it's a good time to like think about how we're coexisting with people and the balance of like things that make us feel comfortable things that make us feel so uncomfortable comfortable and we're bringing that together with our breath maybe we can let some of it go the funky stuff okay take the hands together heart center Yep. Inhale together, fill up your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Reach the arms up, inhale. Let your butt move over to the left. Exhale, right hand comes down, left arm reaches over, inhale. Stay there, exhale. Stay there. Inhale, maybe looking down towards your hand. And exhale, let it go. Coming back up through center, reach the arms up, let your butt go on both heels. Shift your butt to the right. Left hand comes down, right arm reaches over, getting into that side body. We're going to do a lot of heart chakra stuff today. So back bendy poses. They might not look like a typical back bend, but like a down dog is a back bend. So things that open our heart, open our shoulders and chest. Coming back through center, let your butt shift. We're letting our right hand come down and then we're gonna walk our right hand over. We're gonna shift over so that our shoulder is on top of our wrist. We're gonna extend our leg out, reach overhead, opening through the chest, pressing into that left foot on the ground so you get some leverage in there. Toes can be facing me for everyone. So we're gonna bend that top knee. We're gonna take it back next to the other leg. We're gonna switch sides. Take your hand way out there, shift your shoulder. So you're shifting first, <clears throat> extending your right leg pressing the right foot into the floor and opening. Lift your right leg, bend the knee, bring it in. Take the arms up, standing on your knees, inhale. Exhale, cross the arms, big hug. Drop your head, exhale. Inhale, reach up. 
switch the crossing of the arms, exhale. You might not remember, that's fine. Two more, inhale up, cross, exhale. Last one, inhale up, switch the crossing, exhale, fold. Inhale up, tuck the toes. Hands on the hips. We're gonna shift into the spot. We're gonna extend our left leg out to the side. Take the left arm down, right arm over, side bend, and then open the chest a little bit so you're broadening through the chest. Think about that heart space, front and back opening the whole time. <laughs> Take both arms up. Our butt is gonna shift back. We're hinging, taking the hands down. Maybe move the foot out a little bit and you're gonna rock front to back, getting into that left inner thigh. Shifting forward, turn both hands around, wrist stretch. They don't have to be <clears throat> all the way turned around. You can have a slight angle out if you want. And then pushing forward and back a couple more times. Turn both hands around. We're going to bring that leg in. Toes are tucked on both sides. Let's walk the hands back. Inhale the arms up. Let's do a cactus. Exhale. Arms by your sides, hands on your hips. Shift over, extend the right leg out. Good. Right arm reaches down, left arm reaches over. Side bend. Soften the shoulders. Maybe the heart chakra theme is more like being kind to yourself. So you need to be like other people. Maybe we just need to be more kind to ourselves. Taking the right arm up, we're shifting our butt back, hands come down. Maybe move that right leg out a little bit and then moving front to back a couple times, right inner thigh. Exercise ring closed. Thank you. Slowing the movement down, let's do another wrist stretch. And if you want, you can turn the hands over so the back of the hand gets stretched or do one or opposite or whatever feels good. Might feel too intense to do both backs of the hands. Okay, turn the hands over, look out towards that right leg, bring it in. Setting up for cat, cow, drop the belly, inhale. The toes can be tucked. As you exhale, round the spine, drop the head. Inhale, drop the belly, broaden through the chest, cow. Exhale, round. Drop the belly, inhale. Exhale, round, lift the knees, downward facing dog, bend and straighten the legs, get into your calves. Spread the fingers. Start to connect the breath to the body, inhaling through the nose, exhaling down the back of the throat. Mm -hmm. Bend the knees, look forward, walk to the top of the mat. Find a halfway lift, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Rolling all the way up, inhale, high prayer, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, cactus. Shift into your right foot, left knee comes up, we're hinging at the hips, left leg goes back, high lunge. Arms by your sides, palms forwards. So we're really opening through the space really gripping into whatever you have on the ground shifting forward with your chest almost getting it to touch your thighs we're pushing into that back foot 
Reach the arms up, back heel comes down, warrior two. Open up your stance. Breathe into the strength of the legs. Find a little softness with your breath. Shoulders can relax a little bit. Flip the right palm, peaceful warrior. Lengthen the right leg, reaching back, reverse triangle. Rebend your right knee. Take your right elbow inside, right thigh, left arm up and over extended side angle. Your palm is facing up like you're holding a platter. Bring your arm out a little bit, Maria, your hand, your bottom hand towards the garage. Palm up towards that garage. Looking down towards the ground, take your hands to frame the front foot. Back heel is gonna lift, step forward, fold forward, move the hips left to right. Slowly rolling all the way up. Inhale the arms up, high prayer. Exhale, cactus. Shift into the left foot, right knee comes up. Slowly take it back into your high lunge. Plant the feet on the ground. <laughs> Good. Arms by your sides. Pushing into both feet equally. Just hinging our chest forward so that we're touching our thigh. Really long almost like your shoulders are in line with your heel of your back foot. You can't really see that. I'm looking in the mirror so I can kind of see it, but just getting nice and close. Arms are gonna reach up. We're opening warrior two. Spread the fingers, drop the shoulders, even energy in both legs. Flip left palm, peaceful warrior reaching back. Lengthening left leg reverse triangle. Reaching back a lot. Bend the left knee. Take the left elbow inside, palm up, right arm up. Turn the pinky towards the top of the mat and over, yes. Spread the fingers, shoulders away from the ears. See if you can put a little less pressure on that thigh. Like if you were to just like let your elbow come off for a second, like what's happening down there? Good. Look down towards the left foot, take the hands down, lift the back heel, step back, plank pose, inhale. Lower down all the way, exhale. Untuck the toes, lift the chest, inhale, pause. Looking down towards your mat, hover your hands. Stay nice and low, especially if you have low back stuff going on. You can stay here. You might hover the feet, spread the toes. You might reach the arms back towards your feet, but just stay really low. Abs are engaged. Spread the fingers, wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Feet come down, hands under the shoulders, lift the chest, low cobra or upward facing dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step right foot to the top of the mat. High lunge. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, arms by your sides. Drop your chest onto your thigh. Warrior two, open it up. Spread the fingers. Spread the toes. Get nice and long in your stance. Flip the right palm. Peaceful warrior half bind. Lengthen that right leg reverse triangle. And keep your half bind extended side angle. Palm is facing up. Good. That right arm might reach down towards the ground or a block. We're not going to be here that long. Let's unwrap our half bind. We're going to take that left arm down to the ground. We're going to reach the left arm up, just straight up and then allow your chest to really expand and open. Left hand comes down to the floor. Turn the left hip forward, step back, plank pose. Make your way to down dog. 
Big inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step left foot to the top of the mat. High lunge. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, arms come back by your sides. Chest drops down. <laughs> Take the arms up and open, warrior two. <laughs> Spread the fingers. Flip the left palm, peaceful warrior half bind. Other way. Yep. Good. Lengthen the left leg, reverse triangle, reaching back. We're going to re bend that left knee. Keep your half bind, left elbow inside left thigh. And really open up the chest so that you're leaning back. You're not losing the hip position. So if your butt is like way out there, bring it in. Good. Left arm can reach down. Find the strength in the legs, come back to the breath. We're gonna release that right arm. It's just gonna go straight up. And maybe elevate the left hand a little bit so you can lean back a little bit more. Chest is expanding and opening. Right hand comes down to the ground. Right heel turns up, step forward, fold forward. Grab opposite elbows, shaking left and right. <laughs> Slowly rolling all the way up. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, cactus. Shift into the right foot, left knee up. We're gonna extend that left leg forward. Spread the toes high. Gonna to wave with our foot. Good. Slowly coming into where your three arms are gonna go by your sides. Come back to the breath. So keeping your chest really low, we're gonna come into that lunge position where our chest is sort of on our leg. Good. And then hover it just a little bit, hover the chest a little bit. Lengthen, maybe you're touching again. Warrior two, open it up. Flip the right palm piece for your half bind. Lengthen the right leg, reverse triangle. Triangle pose. Move the hips a little bit back, right arm inside. You can keep your half bind if you want. Might be a block on the inside or the outside, up to you. Leaning back as much as you want in your triangle, like there's a wall back there. Bend the right knee, side angle. Good. Release the half fine left arm reaches up towards the sky. Take the left hand down. We're gonna spin that back heel up, right arm up, twist. Right hand comes down. Step forward, fold forward. Little space between the feet. Any version of a fold that you wanna take. Slowly rolling all the way up. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, cactus. We're shifting into the left foot. The right knee is going to come up. We're going to extend that right leg forward. A little L shape. Maybe waving, circling. <laughs> Slowly moving into warrior three. The arms reach back. Find your spot on the ground. And then we're keeping our chest pretty low as we come back into our lunge. Our chest is resting on that thigh. Palms are facing down to open the shoulders. Good. Feel the steadiness of the legs. Warrior two back heel comes down. Arms are opening up. Stay closed. 
spreading the fingers. Flip the left palm, peaceful warrior half bind. Lengthen the left leg, we're reaching back, reverse triangle. We can keep our half bind as we slowly move into triangle pose, left arm inside. Maybe you're shortening your stance. You can keep your half bind or get rid of it. It's up to you, it might be different on this side. We're really leaning back. Go ahead and bend your left knee, side angle. And release the half bind if you have it. Take your right hand down, both hands down, lift your back heel, left arm up, twist. Left hand comes down, step back, downward facing dog. Bend and straighten the legs. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step the right foot to the top of the mat. Back heel comes down, warrior two. Flip the right palm, peaceful warrior, half bind. Lengthen the right leg, triangle pose, leaning back. Release that left arm up to the ceiling, to the sky. Leaning back. Left hand, the one in the air is gonna come down. You're gonna walk to the back of the mat. Warrior three, hands on the ground. Good. Right knee comes towards your nose, soft bend in the left knee, standing all the way up, inhale the arms up. Practice the arms, exhale, the right knee is up in the air. Nice, everyone. Warrior three in the air, maybe clasping the hands behind you. Slowly let that right foot drop down behind you. Let the back heel come down. You're gonna bring your chest to the right. You're gonna turn your left foot to the right. You're gonna turn, turn, turn all the way to the top of the mat and see if you can launch into your warrior three at the top of the mat. Keeping your class, yes. Woo. Standing split and fold. <laughs> Left foot steps behind right, OMG. Take the hands back a little bit. Hands come down on the floor. You're going to step the left leg back. Right arm reaches up. Options for side plank. Right foot can turn to the right. Back heel can come down. Outside edge of the back foot can come down. Maybe you're stacking the right leg on the left. Maybe the right leg is lifting up. Rock star, open it up. Flip it around. Vinyasa, maybe three-legged vinyasa. That foot will drop down as you lift your chest. Downward facing dog. Check back into the breath. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step left foot to the top of the mat. Back heel comes down. Open it up. Warrior two. Nice. Flip the left palm, peaceful warrior half bind. Lengthen that left leg. Triangle pose. Leaning back. Let the right arm reach all the way up. 
All right, the right hand is gonna come down to the ground. You're gonna walk, 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 walk to the back of the mat. Warrior three, hands on the ground. So the left leg is in the air. Left knee comes towards your nose. Soft bend in the right knee, slowly standing up. That left knee comes with you. Inhale the arms up. <clears throat> Cactus, exhale. Good. Warrior three, arms are gonna come back. We're gonna clasp our hands. See if you can clasp the other way. So whatever way is the weird way. it could be the same way it's fine so that left foot's going to drop down behind you stay with me here so we're in a we're in a lunge position facing the back of the mat and then we're, our chest is going to drop down to our thigh we're going to start to move to the left everything the right foot moves the left foot moves we're coming into warrior three Woo. pull the shoulders back open up the chest Take the hands down, standing split. You can turn that right hip down a little bit. I just saw a bat, just kidding. Take the right foot down to meet left, move the hips. I did see a mosquito. I'd rather see a bat than a mosquito. Yes. <laughs> I'm just saying, just saying. Step back. Oh, we missed, we totally missed the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> As I talk about the bats. So, OMG, the right foot's gonna step to the outside of the left foot. Take the hands down, step the right leg back, left arm reaches up. Turn the left toes to the left, outside edge of the back foot comes down. Side plank, stack the left leg on the right, Options, you can lift it up. Breathe and rock star. Lift the hips, open the chest. Take the left hand down, vinyasa, three-legged vinyasa. Maybe take a pause in your down dog or grab a sip of water. Okay, there's mosquitoes just, just an FYI out here. Don't worry, they'll bite me, so you don't even need to worry about it. So nice. All right, everyone. Special. Okay, standing at the top of the mat, go ahead and stand up. So we're gonna step our left leg back. So we're in like warrior three stance, pyramid stance. Grab your hands are on your hips. The back foot is less warrior two, more warrior one. So more of a 45 degree angle. Inhale the arms up, cactus, take the hands back behind you, clasp the hands, open the shoulders, keep your hands pretty close to your butt. So you're holding your own hand and your butt. Uh-huh. Move your butt back. You're folding as we keep the chest open. So maybe you're not gonna fold all the way down, keep it a little heart opener for a moment. And then take the hands down to the ground, fold over that right leg. Straightening that right leg, bring the back foot forward a little bit if it's too much. Having your block, you're going to place it to the outside of the right foot. Your left hand is going to go on the block. 
your right arm's going to reach up and this might be where you make your stance a little bit longer. So we're in that revolved triangle. And if it feels like it's too much over there, you can always have that block on the inside underneath the left shoulder. Opening up the back of the heart a lot. Breathe into it. Right hand comes down. Step the left foot forward. Fold forward. If you're super pumped on doing a crow pose, this is your chance. Otherwise, we're going to be in a forward fold. If you want to do a crow pose, take a couple breaths. Otherwise, we're in a forward fold. Shake the hips. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna step the right leg back and then elevate your chest. So we'll start from up here. Hip points are forward. You have a slight angle of that back foot. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, cactus. Take the hands behind your back. <clears throat> Clasp them together. Maybe switch the sides. Whatever feels the least comfortable. How about that? And then we're opening up through the chest. Drop the shoulders down a little bit more. Tuck the pelvis a little bit more. So you're getting that back bend from the chest. Nice. Shift back. Keep it as a heart opener. Nice and parallel with the ground for a moment. And then when you're ready, you can let it drop down. Can release the hands. Whatever you did on the other side. Grabbing your block can either be on the inside of that left foot or on the outside of the left foot, but the right hand is gonna press into the block. The left arm is gonna go up, revolve triangle. You might make your stance a little bit longer than for the pyramid po pose. Left hand comes down. We're going to stay on this side. You're just going to move that right leg back a little bit more. Bring the right knee down. Untuck the right toes. Move both hands on the inside of that left foot. Left foot goes a little out. So really long hip stance. And then open up through the chest. <clears throat> your block can go over towards your right hand and maybe off of the mat. So your hand's on that block, the right hand. Left arm is gonna go up and open. And maybe you're gonna catch the foot back there. Slowly release the foot. Pick the hands down, bring that left leg back to meet the right, bring the knees under the hips, just one cat cow before we switch sides. Bring the right foot so it's outside your right hand, nice long lunge position. The block will be on the left. You can start by just reaching the chest forward and then take that block underneath the left hand out to the left. The right arm is up and open. You're going to catch that back foot. And release. Shifting to the left, bring that right leg back. Tuck the toes, sitting back on your heels. 
arms by your sides, turn the palms up. We're going to inhale, reach the arms up, standing on the knees. And exhale, shift the hips back, drop the chest. Maybe grab onto the heels. Release the heels. Inhale, the arms up. And exhale, hinging back, drop the chest, grab the heels. One more inhale up. Option on this one to reach back and grab your heels if you are feeling back bendy. Using your core, slowly release one ankle, other ankle. Inhale the arms up, untuck the toes. Hands at heart center, shift the hips back, sitting on your heels. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Shifting over to one side, coming onto your back. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Just on your back, rocking left and right, knees into the chest. I'm going to stop demoing at this point. Keeping your right knee, using your left hand, take that right knee over to the side, side rotation, bend. Inhaling through the nose, exhale. Inhaling through the nose and exhale, rotating that right rib cage open. <clears throat> few more breaths in this twist. Coming back through center. Both knees into your chest. Grabbing your left knee, using your right hand, take that left knee over to the side. Open up the shoulder, it might feel a little different on this side, maybe get a little pop or two. back through center quick happy baby grabbing the outside edges of the feet rocking left and right then slowly start to make your way into shavasana Legs are going to extend out on the ground. It should be on the last song if you are listening to the playlist or if you're listening to something upbeat, maybe just turn it off. And coming back to that feeling of being connected, the interconnected with everything. And that could just be your breath, connecting your breath to your body, to the movement. It can be as simple as that. It's that heart chakra, so loving just the moment.
stay with an even cadence of breath. You can count the inhale, count the exhale, three or four count inhale, three or four count exhale. Starting to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Start to roll onto your left side, the moon side of the body. Make your way into a seated position, any comfortable seat. Take the hands together at heart center, connecting that right and left side at that heart space. Inhale together. Open mouth, let it go. Namaste, thank you. Thanks everyone. Noelle, I love your tie-dye onesie there that's happening and that is amazing.